Hey friends, it's Laurie. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new, please consider clicking that little red subscribe button below and let's get busy. I'm starting my first project by using four of these five by five signs that I found at the Dollar Tree. I'm attaching the four together using my Starbond thick glue. It sets up super quick and it's my go-to glue for projects like this. I'll link the company below along with a discount coupon code in case you'd like to check it out. Now that it's set up, I'm painting the insides and the outside with my white acrylic paint. Now that it's painted and dry, I'm going to be adding on these four succulents that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I'm using some reindeer moss along with some assorted leaves and stems left over from past projects and these all came from the Dollar Tree. I'm also picking off some of the leaves on these amaranthus stems and I'll be using these in my last project too. I'm adding some hot glue on the bottom edge of my sign and then I'm placing in some of the reindeer moss. This is just the base for the succulent so you can add as little or as much as you want. With the moss all glued into place, I'm removing the stems from the succulent so we'll just be working with the flowers. Using my glue gun, I'm now attaching some of the assorted leaves into place. I don't have a set pattern of how I'm gluing them in place, I'm just kind of filling in the corner. I do have a sprig of leaves cascading off the front, but other than that, I'm just kind of hot gluing them here and there into place. When I'm done, I'm placing some hot glue on the back of my succulent, and then I'm attaching it into the corner. When I was done, I moved down to the opposite box and I followed the same instructions. As I was gluing them, I was trying to keep the same pattern as the first box, but they definitely weren't exact. After I had glued on my succulent, I then moved on to the top box, once again adding the leaves and finishing up this one with my purple succulent. My inspiration for this project is front gate succulents in a wooden box for $649. I'm pretty much on a Dollar Tree budget, so that was way more than I could spend, and I actually like mine better. I like the splash of color and the white background. To finish up my box, I'm now adding my last purple succulent. When I was finished, I was going to add on a sawtooth hanger, but I don't know, when I was looking at it, I thought it needed a little more dimension, so I decided to add a jute hanger. I'm first adding my jute accent around the front. I'm measuring and cutting each piece, and then I'm hot gluing them into place. Adding a hanger is completely optional. You can add any type of hanger you would like and I think this would also make a great stand-up piece. After I've added my two pieces of jute, to make my hanger, I'm taking another piece and I'm wrapping it around the outside of my succulent garden. I then found the center of the jute and I knotted the two end pieces. Then, using my hot glue gun, I attached it around the outside. To finish up my project, I wanted to hide the knot, so I'm using some of this thinner twine. I made about an eight inch tail, and then using the twine, I made about six four inch figure eights. I adjusted my loops and then I cut another piece of twine about 16 inches long. I then wrapped it around the center of my bow. I made a couple of knots to hold my bow together. To complete my hanging succulent garden, I just hot glued the bow over the knot. And with that, my project is complete. 
Today, I'm teaming up with seven crafty friends for a viewer's scavenger hunt. It's being hosted by my friends, Leanie from Crafty Leanie. She is the absolute sweetest. She hosts a live show each week and makes the most beautiful DIY crafts. And of course, my two favorite YouTube cousins, Kay and Trish from The Crafting Cousins, and they even made me an honorary cousin. Their channel is as amazing as they are. They host a live question and answer show, contests on their Facebook page, and you have to check out their unbelievable creative craft projects. And also hosting is my friend Nadia from DIY with Nadia. She hosts a Wreath Wednesday Weekly. She makes some of the cutest DIY projects, and she also hosts with Crafty Lini on Saturday night. And now your treasure hunt begins. All eight channels will have a DIY video and a link to the scavenger hunt playlist in their description box. Watch all eight videos from the playlist and make sure to leave a comment. To get to the treasure, each creator will reveal their secret word somewhere during the video. You need to collect all eight secret words and send them to the email address I will provide below. The winner of the Cricut Joy and Tool Set Treasure will be chosen randomly on Saturday, April 24th, 2021, and we'll announce the winner in our community tab and on our Instagrams. Unfortunately, due to shipping costs, the contest is limited to the continental U.S. Good luck and go find that treasure. I'm starting my second project by using the back side of this Dollar Tree tag sign. I'm removing the jute hanger and I'm actually going to replace it when I'm at the end of the project. Using my white acrylic paint, I'm painting the front and the sides. With my sign dry, I'm now going to add an accent around the edge using my pencil. I'm rubbing the edge of the pencil along the edge of my sign and I'm not being that careful, I'm just kind of rubbing it along. I'm then rubbing my finger through the pencil mark and giving my sign a light gray edge. If you prefer to use black paint, that will work just as well. It's just personal preference and I like the smoky gray look that this gives to the sign. I'm adding the wooden word home that I found at the Dollar Tree and I'm giving it a coat of black paint. Now that my home sign is dry, I'm going to take just an old piece of sandpaper and I'm going to distress the edges. Once again, I'm not being super fussy. I'm just running my sandpaper along the outside edges of the letters. I'm attaching my word home to a piece of burlap, so I'm measuring the burlap across the sign and then I'm cutting it to size. I want more of a rustic look, so I'm cutting the finished edges off of my burlap. I'm then fraying a little bit off each side. Using my glue gun, I'm wrapping my burlap around the side and then I'm hot gluing each edge into place. To add my word home, I'm adding some hot glue to the back of it and then I'm centering it in the middle of the burlap. To make the base for my wreath, I'm using a canning jar lid, but you can always use the cardboard insert from a spool of ribbon. I don't want the silver showing through, so I'm giving mine a coat of white acrylic paint, and you can always use white spray paint. I'm using the leaves from these Dollar Tree Amaranthus as the sprigs for my wreath. I'm using three bunches, and I'm just removing the leaves from the stems adding them to my ring and I have it sitting on a piece of burlap just because my background was white. I'm starting to hot glue them at an angle around the top of the ring. And all I'm doing is continuing to hot glue them around the top until my ring is completely covered. With my top complete, I'm now attaching them to the side of the ring to cover the base. When that's done, I turn my wreath over and then using some of the shorter pieces, 
I'm hot gluing them around the top edge, hiding where I originally started gluing on my pieces of wreath. With my wreath complete, I'm using some Dollar Tree Buffalo Check ribbon and I'm making a simple bow. When I'm done, I'm using the same jute that I used in my first video and I'm making the same type of bow. This time I'm making four loops. I'm using another long piece of jute. I'm tying my bow together and this way I'll end up having four tails. I'm securing both of my bows together with a piece of floral wire. And then I'm wrapping the two pieces of wire around the top part of my wreath and securing my bow into place. I'm replacing the jute hanger that I had removed at the beginning. And then using my glue gun, I placed a generous amount on the back of my holder and I attached it into place. And with that, my farmhouse home sign is complete. If you're following along on the scavenger hunt, my secret treasure word is daisy. Please remember not to share it in the comments. For my third project, I'm using three medium-sized styrofoam balls that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. As my hangers, I'm using this pretty white ribbon that I already had on hand, but you can use any ribbon that you'd like. And I'm also going to be using three floral pins. I cut my first ribbon at 14 inches. I folded over the end about an inch, hot glued the ribbon to the ball, and then I glued both pieces of ribbon to each other. Then using my pin, I pierced through both pieces of ribbon and into the styrofoam ball. I followed the same instructions for my second ball, but this time I cut my ribbon at 18 inches. And for my third ball, I cut my ribbon at 22 inches. I'm using five bunches of the hydrangeas and I had to get these at Family Dollar because my Dollar Tree was completely out. But the Dollar Tree ones will work just as well and you can pick any colors that you'd like. For the next part of this project, I removed all the flowers from their stems. Now that I have all my bunches, I'm cutting them into single flower stems. Because I'm sticking them into the styrofoam and I don't want the stem to be too long, I'm cutting about halfway up the stem. I need something to poke a hole in the styrofoam ball, so I'm cutting off one of the flower stems. To add my flowers, I'm poking a hole in the styrofoam ball. I'm adding a dot of hot glue and then I'm placing a flower stem inside the hole. Then you continue on doing the exact same thing until all the white on the styrofoam ball is covered with flowers. I'm pretty sure no one wants to sit here and watch me glue flowers into all three of my styrofoam balls, so I'm going to show you all three of them complete. With my flowers complete, I'm now gathering up my ribbon ends and then I'm tying them into a knot. To make my hanging hydrangea holder, I'm just using the center part of an old Dollar Tree ribbon spool. I'm taking it apart and then I'm removing all the extra glue and paper that's on both sides. I'm covering my spool with this pretty mermaid ribbon that I found at the Dollar Tree and it matches my flowers perfectly. I placed a dot of hot glue inside the spool. I attached my ribbon and then I continued wrapping it all the way around, adding a dot of hot glue here and there to help hold it in place. When I was done and to hang my ribbons, I placed a dot of hot glue inside the hanger and placed my knot on top of it. I wrapped the extra ribbon around and I hot glued that into place. To finish up, I glued three of my hydrangea flowers onto the front of my holder to hide the knot. And with that, my hanging hydrangea bouquet is complete. Mm -hmm. 
thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you had fun. And if you're new and you think, hey, I'd like to come back and hang out with her again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. Have fun on the scavenger hunt and I will see you soon. Bye everybody.